This is a um, a movie by Eileen Haley, whom I'm sure many of us know. Eileen has been working on the uh, ABS census stuff that's coming up. And so uh, the next round of submissions are due on the 8th of September. So Eileen couldn't be here tonight, sadly. So you're stuck with me reading her script. Um, And I'm going to share my screen and go through these slides and help us all understand about the census stuff. Okay, so the Australian Bureau of Statistics, the ABS, has public consultation open at the moment on topics to be included in the 2026 census. The deadline for submissions is Friday the 8th of September. That is a little under two weeks' time. Eileen wants to urge everybody to make a submission. Why? First of all, data collection is one of the areas specifically identified in the Declaration on Women's Sex-Based Rights as under threat from gender identity ideology. The declaration points out, taking violence against women and girls as an example, that the conflation of sex with gender identity leads to the collection of data which is inaccurate and misleading, thereby creating a significant impediment to the development of effective laws, policies, strategies and actions aimed at the elimination of women's disadvantage and oppression. Secondly, the ABS is being captured by gender identity ideology, and there are four aspects Eileen wants to highlight. One, the ABS is still intending to retain sex as a topic, thank goodness, but they've shortlisted gender as a new topic to be also included in the 2026 census. It looks as though they'll be including male and female in the pick list options, thereby facilitating and perpetuating exactly the kind of conflation the declaration denounces. And anyway, says Eileen, gender is nothing but old, outdated sex role stereotypes and gender identity ideology, in Eileen's word, is a load of bollocks. Number two, the ABS intends to redesign its questions about parentage to have more inclusive language, which may be code for erasing the term mother. Three, the ABS intends to let what it calls the LGBTIQ plus community play a major role in the 2026 census. That's code for trans lobby takeover. They'll be establishing what they call an LGBTIQ plus expert advisory committee for guidance and input not just on the framing of census topics, but also on the development of what they call educational, promotional and support materials, which looks like code for a campaign of mass indoctrination in gender identity ideology. Fourth, there is no recognition of women as stakeholders in the topics of sex, gender and parentage. The only stakeholder they're prepared to see is the trans lobby. So that's the why, now here is the how. Remember, Friday the 8th of September is the deadline. First, go to, uh, and you can all see the link there, and I will put it in the chat. Scroll right down the bottom of the page and click online survey. You don't have to have made a submission in phase one of the consultation in order to make a submission in phase two. Click on potential removal, number of children ever born, and use the space to tell the ABS not to erase the term mother when they redesign the questions on this topic and to regard women as stakeholders on this topic, not just the TQ. The redesign of the questions isn't what the ABS is asking about here, but tell them anyway. They did announce the redesign in their webinar, so it's pertinent. Click on additional feedback, end of the list, to get to gender. Under new topics, tick gender and use the space to let them know your concerns. Conflation with sex, no consultation with women, regressive sexist ideology, putting ideas in kids' heads, etc. You can attach a file as well as or instead of using the spaces in the online form. And finally, here are some useful links. A video produced by the ABS of a webinar on the 3rd of August, informative, especially the Q&A at the end. The announcement about the 
LGBTIQ plus community advisory committee on the 14th of August and a short article from the Women's Action Alliance, Canberra. So this is Eileen's presentation. Thank you very much, Eileen. And I will put all of those links in the chat so that we can uh, click on them. Thank you very much, Eileen. That was wonderful.